I'm going to show you how I made this rolling type animation in After Effects. We're going to start off by creating our text. I'm just going to type rolling. Then we're going to scale up the text. We'll duplicate the text and then put it underneath. Then we'll adjust the spacing of the text. We're looking to making some position keyframes. So we'll make a keyframe here and then drag it to the end. And then our start keyframe will be off screen. We'll adjust our end keyframe to be at the bottom of screen. We'll then go to effects, distort, and then warp. From here, we'll set the wave style to bulge. And then the warp axis is vertical. Right now, it looks like the text is rolling across a cylinder, which is what we want. I'm just looking to get the right speed of the motion so it flows nicely together. We can do this by moving the keyframes further apart so the motion is a lot slower and we don't really need to put any easing on it. We'll make sure to have a lot more duplications of the text so when we have this animating, it can be a constant loop. Now I have a lot more duplications of the text. I'm going to move the keyframes further apart so the text is moving throughout the whole timeline. I'm going to make this rolling type animation a uh, pre comp and then I'm going to create another composition which is called rolling full, which is going to be the main composition for our final animation. For this animation, I made it 1080 by 1920, which will work well with the animation that we're doing. On the pre comp layer, we're going to take off the constraint proportions and put the height of the scale to 50. Then we're going to move the layer to the top of the frame. And then from here, we're going to copy the pre-comp layer and then we're going to move it down so it connects with the previous layer. And then it will have an ongoing effect when it's scrolling. We'll have to create a delay effect to the layers. So the text would continue from the previous layer. So it's an ongoing effect. And then it's just a case of repeating the same process with the other layers that we copy and paste in. Once again, we copy and paste the composition and then we move it down the timeline so it's delayed and then join it up to the previous composition. And then we've got the last one to copy and paste in. So we will paste that in, move the layer down the timeline. So it's a staggered approach. And then we just have to move the layer so it joins up with the last one. So we have that bit done now and we're nearly there with the final animation. The next thing to do is make it so it's seamless, continuous loop and it doesn't just stop, it's an ongoing thing. To create this fully looped, we need to create another composition and then put this full animation in there. And then we need to go and see where we can create a loop sequence from. So we take a section of the animation and then we cut that up and then we copy and paste that. You just need to make sure that it all matches together nicely. So when you run the sequence, there's no jitteriness and it's just a constant loop. 
So yeah, that is the final animation and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I'm trying to revive my Discord, which I used to have ages ago and I kind of just want to build it back up again. So if you want to join that, feel free to join it. I'm going to share a link below and also, yeah, take it easy. Peace.